We are going into Shabbat. It's now three weeks since the horrific atrocity against Israelis by Hamas. Three weeks since the hostages have been taken and are being held in Gaza. One of the hostages is a very close friend of mine. Her name is Vivian Silva. I'm sitting next to the image of her. She is one of the hostages. There are many hostages whose images are across the bridge. Today, when we were sticking there, I looked at everyone. I looked at their names and I looked at their ages. Each one of them is a family that is sitting anxiously waiting for news. There were young, young children and elderly people. It is heart-wrenching. We chose this Nelson Mandela Bridge. This is iconic. This is a really important place in the middle of Johannesburg, and that's where we wanted to create awareness about the hostage situation. We want South Africans to know what is going on, and we want them to see the pictures. And people walking past us have stopped, they've looked, and they've been deeply, deeply moved. One woman pulled me aside and said, can I come back and help you at lunchtime? This is so horrific. Yes, it's important to get it on social media. And yes, it's important for our community to know. But there are very many, there are many people that have passed us today that are going to go home to their families and are going to go home to their communities and tell them what they have seen today. I think it is remarkable that we can come in the middle of Johannesburg, raise the balloons as every other city in the world has done. I feel really, really proud of that fact that we can be here. Nobody has expressed any hostility. Everybody has shown interest and deep support. I'm going into Shabbat feeling incredibly moved by that. I really wanted to share this with you and wish you a Shabbat Shalom. And our prayers are that very soon every one of these people will be home with their families celebrating Shabbat.